Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakadash, double honor to the elder GMS, also salutations <coughs> to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth, and also Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And I'm going to name this, uh, Russia will carry out that threat, all right? Because if you pay attention, all right, if you pay attention, you know, to the world stage, you know, uh, especially now, uh, like the scripture says, a time for war, time for uh, time for love, time for hate, time for war, right? We're in the time of hate and war, you know? You won't witness real love until the, you know, to the kingdom of heaven, right? But within this time of war, all right, that we're in, you always see uh, Russia threatening with uh, nukes, right? Now, it's written, uh, what's that? I think it's... Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, I think it's Ezra 16 chapter said the Lord shall threaten who should not be beaten to uh, powder. Right. Well, guess what? Them nukes is going to turn you into uh, powder. All right. Them chariots is going to turn you to uh, powder. You know, just like when you watch that movie War, War, the, uh, War of the Worlds, you know. But that's what's coming to this place, man. So this threat, all right, or the words what Putin is 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 saying, all right, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fulfilled. Let's grab a scripture real quick, okay? <clears throat> this is uh, Isaiah twenty-four. Uh, let's start from seventeen. It says, "Fear in the pit and the snare upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. It should come to pass that." He that fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh out of the mist of the pit shall be taken into a snare. For the windows from on high are open. All right, which means what? These, these nukes, all right, is going to what? Be uh, 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 coming through the heavens, all right? From a high altitude. Of the uh, 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 heavens, you know, not exactly space, which uh, they do have certain uh, satellites, okay, that can uh, control the missiles, you know, but just like during the time of Noah, right? So the, it say what the Lord opened the windows of uh, heaven. Same thing with these with these nukes, you know, the Lord is going to allow these nukes to what fly through these through these heavens, man. All right, he gonna open the he gonna open the windows of of a uh, of a uh, heaven, you know, just like during during the time of Noah. Except it's raining nukes this time. Okay, it says the foundations of the earth do shake. All right, it says the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. Now that sounds like the Book of Peter, right? Because it says what the elements shall uh 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 shall uh shall burn with uh no it says the elements shall melt with fervent heat, right? Read that over and the earth is clean dissolved, the earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall rail to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. But let's go back to the top, right? Verse 18 says, it shall come to pass. So, like I was saying earlier, this threat, all right, or these nukes, guess what? It's going to it's gonna take place, all right? This earth is going to move to and fro like a drunkard, okay? The Lord, the Lord is going to allow these nations to shoot missiles upon Babylon, all right? Which I think I did a lesson, uh this week a uh, 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 lesson this week uh, uh about the nukes you know I was, I was talking about the nukes again but that's the spirit that's uh out there you know because at the end of the day this is this is the this is the last prophecy right once they once they implement uh this chip right and uh and world war three and these famines take place chip is implemented that's when those nukes is going to be let off right because it's written uh, when he is about to fill his belly 
All right. Uh, 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 the Lord shall uh, strike him with the uh, with the arm bow, which I know I mangled that scripture, you know. But that's when this man is going to uh, take a dive, man. All right, so let let's go to, to this article. It says Putin issues a nuclear threat against the West. Russian President Vladimir Putin made new threats Wednesday to use nuclear weapons against the West, suggesting any nuclear power supporting a country that attacks Russia will be seen as participating in aggression. You see? So, hey, this dude Putin, hey, he's not playing no games. You know, hey, look look at his face. He, he ready to nuke, nuke this place, man. All right? It says, uh, which I'm going to grab that, all right? It says, the Lord have uh, uh, raised the, the spirit of the Medes, right? And what's better than these Russians is those news. They got a lot of them. And they got better missiles, too. All right? It says, Russia, I said, addressing Russia, Security Council, Putin said the country's nuclear doctrine has been revived in a light of emergency of new sources, of military threats and risks for Russia allies. Let's look that up. Uh, Russia Security Council. Hold on. I mean, Russia. Hold on. Russia's nuclear doctrine. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something. If we can, we can. find it here. No. Let's go back to uh, Russia. Doctrine. Are you already giving me Let's see. Hmm. Mutual sword destruction. Let me see. Mutual sword destruction, which I think this taps into the doctrine. It says, MAD is a doctrine of military strategy, national security policy, which posits that a full scale of use of nuclear weapons by an attacker or a nuclear armed defender with second strike cap capabilities will result in a complete annihilation. God damn. <laughs> of both attacker and defender. It's based on the theory of a rational deterrence, which holds the threat of using weapons against enemy prevents the use of those same weapons. The strategy is a form of NAS equilibrium in which once armed, neither side has an incentive to, initi to initiate a conflict or to disarm. The result may be a nuclear nuclear peace in which the presence of nuclear missiles decrease the risk of crisis uh, escalation since parties will seek to avoid situations that could lead to the use of nuclear weapons. Proponents of nuclear peace theory therefore believe that controlled nuclear proliferation may be beneficial for global stability. Critics argue that the nuclear proliferation increases the chance of nuclear war through either deliberation or inadvertent use of nuclear weapons as well as likely a nuclear material fall into the hands of violent non-state act. But you read, you read the first part, you know, but if another nation decides to, you know, attack them, you know, or use a weapon, they can totally annihilate the other nation, you know, 
which I don't actually think that was Russia's, but I'm pretty much sure they all fall under this same act right here. The, the, the MAD doctrine. Let's see. Uh, And I don't really say too much, but that was pretty good. But I'm, I'm pretty much sure they all probably fall under that. Let's click on this too. Which I think this is the same thing. Russia weapons of mass destruction. The Russian Federation is known to possess and have possessed three types of weapons of mass destruction. Nuclear weapons, biological weapons, and chemical weapons. It is one of the five nuclear weapons recognized under the Treaty of Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. Let's keep going. Russia possesses a total of 5,580 nuclear warheads. God damn. As of, 200, as of 2024, the largest confirmed stockpile of nuclear warheads in the world. See? So that's why they boast so much, you know? Because they, they, they can bag it up. You know, uh, Russia deployed missiles, those actually ready to be launched. Number about 1,710, 1, almost the largest confirmed strategically deployed arsenal in the world as of 2024. The remaining weapons are either in reserve stockpiles or have been retired as they slated for dismantling. Russia, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Russia predecessor state, the Soviet Union, reached a peak stockpile of 45,000 nuclear warheads in 1980. See, that was in 1986. So imagine what they got now. The number of weapons may, may possess and currently controlled by a bilateral New START treaty with the United States. All right, so that treaty... All right, they they gonna break that treaty, you know, or this doctrine that they have, you know. And I'm gonna go some more into this. Oh, uh, make sure I'm reading from the right thing. Into this, you know, this this nuclear doctrine. These uh nations have, because so it could be some more information on this. Let me see. Nuclear doctrine. You saw a motherfucker. Let's see. Uh, see what else pop up. All right. So when you put in nuclear doctrine, a strategy involves the development of the doctrine strategies for production of use of nuclear weapons. A sub branch of military strategy. Nuclear strategy attempts to match nuclear weapons as means. As means to political ends, in addition to actual use of nuclear weapons, whether in battlefield or strategical, st strategically, a large part of the nuclear strategy involves their use as a bargaining tool, right? Because, hey, <laughs> that's how they get out of things or, you know, get these nations to calm down, you know, which is not really a bargain. They're like, look, hey, if you want to come up against us, I ain't going to nuke you. Some of these issues considered within nuclear strategy include conditions where which serve the nation's interest to develop nuclear weapons, type of nuclear weapons to be developed, and how and when the weapons are to be used. So Russia is saying, look, you know what? The hell with that. I'm going to use them when we want to use Oh, what? They're going to use them when the Lord wants them to use it. Many strategists argue that nuclear strategy differs from other forms of military strategy. The immense and terrifying power of the weapons makes their use in seeking victory in traditional military sense impossible. Perhaps, perhaps the counter intuitively an important focus of nuclear strategy has been determining how to prevent and deter us a crucial part of mutual assured destruction, which that's called mad, what we were just reading. 
right? It basically it, it talks about on how how on different terms how they can use the nuclear missiles, you know. Let's see, little girl. Okay, but all right, we're gonna stop right there. Let's. <laughs> I, ain't, I wasn't trying to make this last that long, but good information, though. So Russia said, look, we're going to get rid of that. All right. So let's read a little bit more. This Putin said the country's nuclear doctrine has been revived in a light in light of em emergencies of new sources of military threats and risks for Russia. And our so Russia like, look. We got something for y'all. Y'all plan on, you know, coming up against us. Guess what? We we done added something to this doctrine or we done took some things out. All right. We we not gonna uh 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 we're not playing by basically we're not playing by the rules anymore. The updated version and document proposes that the aggression against Russia by any non nuclear weapon state but with the partition of support of a nuclear state should be considered as a joint attack on Russia Federation. So if you, even if you don't got them and you're associated, associated with this nation, they're going to nuke you or shoot missiles on you. Putin told the council he did not specify whether Russia could respond to such attack with nuclear weapons, but said that conditions for their use would be reliable information about a mass launch and aerospace attacks means their crossing of the state of border. He added, we reserve the right to use nuclear weapons in the event of aggression against Russia. Belarus, remember the union of the state, right? Which I'm going to stop right there. You get the gist of it, right? <laughs> At the same time, Russia is not going. Uh, Jeremiah 1511, make the arrows bright, gather the shields, the Lord have raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes. You see? And that's the example of it. They're not uh they're 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 not gonna let you conquer them, you know? They'll fucking destroy everything before you take them down. Okay, it says for their device is against Babylon to destroy it. So any body that's associated with Babylon, with America, right, they're gonna shoot missiles on them because it is the vengeance of the Lord. And the vengeance of his temple. And you know what that proves? Reading like, hey, it's not just not going to be America, right? That's going to get hit by missiles. These other nations are going to get hit by missiles too. You know? It says, uh, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes for the Lord. Have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants. O thou that dwelleth upon many waters and the abundant treasures, thou endest come the measure of thy covetousness. Uh, which I'm going to stop right there, man. All right. Uh, hey, <laughs> that's the time we living in. Nuclear, nuclear destruction times. All right. Shalom. How about Shalom? Shalom.